Okay, good afternoon. My name is Thomas M. Farrell, and I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for the Town of Brunswick, here to testify today on uh, Brunswick's second priority HPP project uh, entitled Extension of the Androscoggin River Bicycle Path. The town's request for funding in the amount of $376,000 is part of an anticipated total project cost of $2,032,000 for the first phase of an extension of the Androscoggin River Bicycle Path in Brunswick. The project would allow for the extension of the existing 2.4 mile off-road bicycle pedestrian facility that links Brunswick's downtown with the town of Topsom and our Cook's Corner retail area. It would provide for an additional 2.6 miles of corridor east toward the towns of West, West Bath and the city of Bath. This proposal uh, is part of a larger extension, 7.21 miles in length, uh, a project that was recommended as part of a 2004 Maine Department of Transportation funded feasibility study to connect the Androscoggin River bicycle path with the bicycle pedestrian facilities in place on the Sagatahawk Bridge in Bath. As stated in the HPP project questionnaire that we submitted in the spring of 2009, the project will improve communities in Maine by encouraging people to use non-motorized transportation as a means to travel to work for destination, recreation, thereby reducing the number of motor vehicle trips and corresponding gas consumption and fuel emissions. In addition, as has been the case with the Androscoggin River Bicycle Path, this project will provide a safe bicycle and pedestrian corridor to encourage users to exercise more, thus improving people's health and well-being and reducing health care costs associated with sedentary lifestyles. The project and its proposed alignment is consistent <coughs> with the proposed East Coast Greenway, a route through Maine that's part of a 3,000-mile bike pedestrian trail that connects Key West, Florida to Calais, Maine. The funding requested would allow for necessary survey, engineering, permitting, and preparation of bid documents as outlined in the attached cost estimate here with my testimony that's been developed by our town engineer, John Foster. The remaining construction costs of $1.2 million would be sought in the 2012 fiscal year from this source or other available grant programs for which this project might qualify. As computed by our Department of Economic and Community Development staff in Brunswick, this project, including construction, would create and maintain 40 jobs, 12 direct employed mainly on the job site, 12 jobs semi-direct or indirect manufacture of construction building materials, and 16 ancillary jobs in the form of goods and services purchased with income from direct or indirect employment. The source for the estimate is read construction data. The Brunswick Town Council supports the project and intends to partner with the private sector in raising the matching funds necessary to move the project forward. Thank you for the opportunity to testify. Thank you.